Good morning, good morning. It's Monday. Yay. Not fun. I am actually cream crackered. So today's vlog, I'm probably gonna upload tomorrow morning because I might go to bed early and he's going back late from dancing. So I need a good early night, so. Anyway, um, I toyed with the idea, might do a little question and answer vlog thing. Don't know if people are interested in that. Whether we've already told you too much and you just don't care anymore. I don't know. But let us know in the comments if you've got any questions. List as many as you like. And we'll go through as many as we can. And maybe do like a little Q&A vlog thing. I don't know. Why not? Thought. Just just thought came came to me this morning. So, as I said, stick it in the comments and we'll see. Peen's uh, on time as usual. No. Hi, Peen. I'm running late. Oh, you're like emerging from the dark, like the dark princess. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I thought we could do a Q&A vlog thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay then. I'm a morning person. Let's go up bean, bean approval. <laughs> so, um, okay, as I said, list all the questions, as many as you like in the comments, and we'll, we'll, we'll pick them all out and go through them in a separate vlog. Um, so I will leave you to peen. Um, and see you later. Oh, she's got dancing. You're gonna show them dancing at some point. Like, surely uh, there's gonna be a bit of free studio space somewhere at some point. Well, we'll have to see. I'm a bit large now. Oh yeah, she can't really dance anymore. Not. Although you do, know, because I'm like super amazing. <laughs> it's gonna be impaired. Now she's more like a wallowing hippo. She's, like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> she's probably like me if I was dancing. Anyway, um, I will see you later, and I'll hand you over to Peen. Hi, Peen. The Brit Vlog. Nine cat approved. Um, today, I don't know, like earlier, I felt, oh look, this chair is ridiculous. <laughs> I sit here and it goes down by itself. It's not because I'm so fat, before Aiden comments on anything. Um, the chair is faulty. It's about like 500 years old. But as with everything here, um, we don't buy new things. So annoying. Um, yeah, so earlier, like, I felt really tired, like, just randomly. Like, I could have just, like, gone to sleep there and then. Um, not feeling quite as tired now. And then, like, this morning I was cold. Then it, like, warmed up in here and I was fine. Then I got freezing. So, I don't know. Um, today, it's been quiet here. Even was like really fairly calm for the um, Monday morning start as well, which is good. Um, had um, someone in again, just um, doing a bit of training or rather just like sort of watching me. And she's coming back in tomorrow morning. I'm going to let her sort of deal with everything tomorrow. Um, she did have to take a couple of phone calls today because as it is, you know, the phone's dead quiet for like... The three hours that I'm sat here, I leave the room for two minutes as the phone goes. <laughs> so it's typical. But she coped really well. She took two bookings all by herself, pretty much. Um, I was stood here like just as reassurance, really. But I'm sure if I hadn't have been here, she would have been fine. So tomorrow, I'm going to pull back even more and then see how she gets on. I'm sure she'll be fine. It's always like really scary. I remember when I first started here, and I was terrified. Like... Um, I sort of did, I think, two afternoons, probably not even like full afternoons, probably like two or three hours, um, where I was with somebody, and then I came in for like the afternoon again, um, and she's like, oh, I think you're all right now, and then went home, so <laughs> I was like left on my own, I really didn't have much of a clue of what I was doing, and I was just like sat there, I was like, oh my gosh, please don't let the phone ring <laughs> um and i remember oh gosh it was awful when that phone rang but now like it's not doesn't bother me at all but this is always scary when you start off i think probably for like the first few months perhaps um i was only like part-time although i'm still not really full-time am i but i only did one day a week then um so i mean it took a while really to settle in um 
but once you've got it, it's fine. She's like, um, the reason she's doing it is because she's keen to do the maternity cover when I'm off. Um, need to speak to um, Andrew about that. I really, I don't know what is in his head about what he thinks I'm going to um, be having off or not. Um, I suspect he thinks I'm sort of going to have the baby and be back fairly quick, but I do want to have some time off work just to, you know, spend with the baby and um, just do all the newborn stuff with them. I don't want to come back to work too early and miss all that. I'm certainly not going to have, like, the full year off. We're entitled to um, a full year off here um, in the UK, but I'm not going to be doing that. Um, but hopefully next time I get to speak to him, I can at least sort of approach the subject. Um, the lady obviously would like to know um, where she stands as well, whether she is going to come here like with some sort of regular time or whether she needs to go and look for a job elsewhere. So I sort that out. Uh, today my pram arrived, which was very exciting. Um, it was a right bugger to set up. Like, once you've got it set up, which we have now, like, it's fine, it's so easy to use, it's great, but, like, actually, like, putting it together for the first time, um, took a while. Um, I'm going to be leaving the pram here. I'm not superstitious, like, because, you know, you're not supposed to have a pram in the house before the baby arrives and stuff. Um, but... I suppose it's more down to space to be honest I and mean, we haven't got a lot of room at home and I don't want a pram just sat there for months taking up half the lounge obviously once he's here that's a different story but so I'm going to be keeping it here anyway but I have set it up because like first I wanted to check like all the bits are there and then obviously check that it all works okay because I don't want to get um to the point like the baby's arrived and you get it all out and then it's not working properly um I'll keep it covered up here so it doesn't get dusty or anything and I can also then like have a good practice over the next few months like so then by the time he arrives I'll be a pro and I can be folding and unfolding um, I'm also going to test it out in my car my car needs a bit of a clean again um, but I think actually my boot's quite empty so I'm going to test it out in there and make sure everything fits in properly so that's cool so um, I'm not going to be putting the pram on the pregnancy vlog because I obviously won't have it at home so what I'm going to do is show you today just a little sneak preview so here it is so cute um, this is it set up with the carry cot version of it and then you can swap it all over and have it as a push chair for when um, when the baby's older um, obviously it's got the hood there the handle like changes really easily so you can swap it over there so you could have it say um the sun was in baby's eyes and you could just quickly turn that over while you're out um oh hang on more in a minute right so that was the um my last customer of the day um so it's got um like this little baby nest which is sort of like a um, soft jersey material so that's nice and snug in there um it's also it comes with the rain cover it comes with like the seat and stuff to convert it to the push chair and also the cozy toes for when you're using it as a push chair um the shopping basket on these are really small which i did read from the reviews which people were saying like really is like the main uh, downside of it but um, we never like go around town and buy loads of shopping. Um, when we have loads of stuff, we've got the car, so that's not going to really be a problem. So that I mean, it's just for storing um, the rain cover and stuff. <coughs> My changing bag clips onto the handle, so that's cool. Um, it's also like it folds down really easily. Like I can do it with one hand, and I can also lift it lift the frame with one hand as well probably like not when I've got a baby in the other hand but it's you know it's really light so that's cool um really easy to use and it's it's lovely and I think it's lovely for a little boy I, I'm home now Aiden is still up playing Minecraft from the sound of it um dancing was good I'm glad to be back um 
pretty tired now, but I seem to manage it fine, so that's cool. Um, everyone's quite excited because I've got um, like an actual bump now because it hasn't been since before Christmas. So like in the last few weeks, you've probably seen it has um, popped out quite a bit. So that was cool. Um, and traffic was really bad on the way because um, Cheltenham Town Football Club are playing Everton tonight, which is like the first time ever. Um, so everyone's gone a bit crazy um, and the traffic was manic but um, coming home was fine because kickoff was um, like about half an hour ago or so, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so I'm just getting something to eat now because I'm hungry and uh, then I'm going to see what Ada's doing, I think. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? I'm trying to have an early night but you've got the light on, you've got camera in my face and stuff. Oh, I can put it more in your face. I can put this in your face. <laughs> That's mean. Special abuse. Special abuse. <laughs> I tried to have an early night. We had a good day? I've had a tired day, hence the early night. Oh. I'm going to go to edit the vlog and upload it um, in the morning, so you'll see this a little bit later than normal. Okay. Um, sorry I haven't been there in much a few days. I know the, the, you know the comedic factor of the vlogs has gone down by 87% because of my absence for the past couple of days, but oh, hopefully that's me. from a bit of an early night, I should be back to um, my hilarious self tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. We'll see then. Night night everybody! See you tomorrow!